Hello and welcome to my prayer closet. I am delighted, excited, just happy and thrilled that um, my video here has appeared in your feed and that you clicked the link. I never think it's a mistake when my video appears in your feed. I pray specifically and ask God to uh, give me favor with the YouTube algorithm so my videos will appear in front of the people who need to see it at a specific time for a specific purpose. And so I'm glad that you clicked the link. Today, we're going to be praying specifically for us to finish the year strong, regardless of what kind of year you've had. And I know for some of you, it's been a fantastic year. And for others, of whew, it's been rough. And for others, it's been a valley of ups and downs, sideways. It's been a myriad of things. Um, regardless, uh, this video is for you because I want to pray that you would finish the year strong. Now, what exactly does that mean? What that means is... You don't finish the year limping into the next year, hoping to get started fresh uh, to start the year. No way, no way, no way. You start the year with momentum. One of the things that I talked about on my coaching call with the women that I coach in our coaching club is I talked about the word momentum and why and how you do that. And that's simply um, you start now with whatever it is you are believing God for for the new year. So when the new year starts, you're already running, honey. So let me encourage you. Let this prayer encourage you. Um, I know that maybe the year hasn't turned out exactly the way you want it. But let me encourage you to keep praying, keep believing a God for big and marvelous things in your life. By the way, on your screen is my latest book. It's called Dear God. It just went live on Amazon and it is a devotional for the new year. So if you are looking for a devotional to start your new year, go ahead and click the link below in order to be one of the first persons to get dear God and tell me below uh, if you get it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we worship you. We honor you. We praise your holy name, God. You are worthy, worthy, worthy of all the honor, all the glory and all the praise. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your goodness and mercy and grace. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for a brand new day. Father, we know that as we close out this year, there are goals, there are resolutions, there are plans that never came to fruition. And God, it doesn't mean that our year was, was a bust. And it does not mean our year was a bust. And so, Father, we're laying at your feet. We're laying at your feet right now, God, as we are specifically saying, help us to finish strong. Help us to close out and say goodbye to the things that need to die this year. Help us to say goodbye to the people that we can't take with us and to the new year. Help us to say goodbye to the habits that have held us back. Help us to say goodbye to the addictions, the strongholds, Anything that has held us down in 2023 or 2022 or 2021, God, we're crying out to you that we want to finish strong. That we want to finish strong. Now, Father, we specifically pray that as we go into the new year, We'll go into the new year fresh. We'll go into the new year excited. We'll go into the new year committed. 
Help us, Lord Jesus, to seek you first, the kingdom of God and your righteousness and let everything be added unto us. Help us to develop exceptional habits. Help us to be more disciplined and focused in the new year. Help us to put things in place this year that will transform our next year. Father, we pray for loved ones that have needs beyond what we can do. We lift them up to you. We turn them over to you. And we thank you in advance, God, that we know you're a miracle worker, even if the miracle hasn't come forth already. We know you are a way maker, even if the way hasn't been made clear already. We're not going to stop believing and praying and seeking you, Lord. Hallelujah. And so we pray, God, that we honor you by finishing strong. Thank you for this glorious year and that we are alive another day. Thank you for it, Lord. We believe we receive everything I've just prayed. It's in Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, if you are in agreement with that prayer, shout amen. Shout amen. If you believe you receive, hallelujah. There's absolutely nothing too hard for God. Believe him. Sit down today. Write out three things that you need to finish strong with and decide, you know what? I am not going to wait till next year to start this. I'm going to start today. I want to be consistent now. Or maybe it's saying goodbye to some habits. Or maybe it is making a decision. You're going to get your house in the new year and you're not going to wait till January to start. You're going to start today doing the research you need in order to be a homeowner or whatever it is. The new job. Don't wait to 2024. Start now doing that research. Thank you all again for just being here with me in the prayer closet. I love y'all so much. And uh, you type amen below. And if you want to put your initials, uh, go ahead and put them so I can lay hands on them and just pray over them that you would finish strong this year. And remember, if you need a daily devotional to get you started in prayer, I got 365 prayer starters in that devotional beginning with January 1 going to December 31st. Click the link below and be one of the first persons to get it. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day.